Where am I? Is this heaven? Raina, you all right? Oh. Claude. Do you have any idea what we're doing here, Claude? I... I don't know. You don't think we're in... heaven, do you? No. It's not heaven at all. We're on the planet Need, in a place called the Outer Gardens. This is need? Oh, no! Reina! You all right? I'm fine. This way. Reina, what's going on here? I don't know. All I know is we should be going this way. Maybe that's your needy in blood in action. I can't really tell, but there's something about the air. It makes me feel so calm. I feel like all my worries just fly away. Like I've known this place ever since I was young. That's why I think we're on need right now. Speaking of which, Claude, why did you come to Expel in the first place? I... Uh, there was an accident, and somehow I got transported from where I was to Expel. And then I ran into Reyna in the Sacred Forest, and it all went from there. Oh. Well, fine by me, even if you aren't from Expel, you're still Claude all the same. It's not like that's changed or anything. Yeah, thanks. We aren't gonna get anything done if we just sit around here. So let's take a look around. How do you think everyone's doing in Expel, by the way? Not too well. No doubt about that. Nothing could have survived that collision. Don't worry. I'm sure they're doing just fine. Bet they can't wait for us to get back home, too. Reyna. I'm sure of it. Yeah, she's right. That's why we've got to get moving and figure out what's going on around here. Right. What's that? It looks like some kind of device. Please, come inside. Who are you? I mean you no harm. Just go on inside the transporter. Everything will be revealed to you. What was that? A transporter? I don't get it. Let's try it. Reyna? It's all right. There's something about his voice. I feel like we can trust it. Well, if Reyna says so, then I suppose we can trust her. Here goes. Where is 
this? I don't know. Well, might as well get out. I have been waiting for you. That was your voice before. It was. I am the one who brought you here. My name is Nall. I serve as the mayor of the Centropolis. The Centropolis? We... we are on Need, aren't we? Oh, this is Need, all right. The Centropolis is one of Need's largest cities. So, do you people have any idea why you're here on Need right now? Can't say I do. There's definitely some kind of power at work here, but I couldn't tell you what. We were fighting these strange men on top of a tower in Eluria. The next thing we knew, we were here. You were probably teleported here with those men when they took themselves to need. Who the hell were those guys? A group that we call the Ten Wise Men. Before I explain who they are, I must tell you of the mistakes that have haunted Need's past. About 3.7 billion years ago, Need was a planet. N meaning what? It's a planet now, isn't it? The Need of today isn't a planet at all. What we stand on today is better known as Energy Need, an artificial planet enveloped in a high energy field. Oh, that must be what my dad called the high energy mass. 3.7 billion years ago, planet Expel did not even exist in space. Even at that time, the people of Need had vast knowledge of magic science, on a level no other planet could come close to matching. As a result, Need was able to gain control of every planet in the galaxy. But Need didn't rule by force. The records claim it was a model of economic cooperation, almost a living utopia. But even in this near utopia, there lived those with evil minds. They called themselves the Ten Wise Men. They were uninterested in interplanetary cooperation. They wanted the entire galaxy under their iron fists. The Ten Fanatical Madmen began their conquest by first seizing control of need with their staggering powers. One by one, Need's cities fell under the sheer force of their attack. Anyone who refused loyalty to their regime was ruthlessly murdered. They showed pity to no one, not even women and children. The Needian armed forces mustered everything they had, but they were completely routed by the overwhelming power of the wise men. Their rampage across the planet, however, did not last long. The Nidian army summoned up their remaining power, and they fought back fiercely. After weeks of desperate fighting, they finally succeeded in defeating the Ten Wise Men. As their punishment, the Ten Wise Men were exiled to Eternity Space, a prison from which there can never be any exit. The war was a complete victory for the Nidian forces.
hand in the process. The Nidians finally opened their eyes to the extent of the power they had wielded all this time. Even if we never asked for it, we had the technological ability to rule over the entire universe right at our fingertips. If the Ten Wise Men ever came back to haunt us, Need would be engulfed in total war yet again. Nobody wanted this, of course. After a lengthy conference, the world-renowned Dr. Lantis offered a solution that everyone accepted. We opted to seal away our powers, to put an end to the progress that we had achieved. Planet Need was destroyed by the hands of the very Needians who lived there. And so it was that the entire population relocated to Energy Need, ensconced safely in its high energy field. The energy that covers this planet exists to forbid any access to or from foreign space. With it, we are totally cut off from the rest of the universe. You know the rest of the story. The Ten Wise Men escaped from their banishment into Eternity Space. How they managed to escape, and how they managed to break into Planet Expel, is a mystery to us. But the facts are plain for anyone to see. They are out of Eternity Space, and they have landed on need once again. And their goal is nothing less than complete domination of the galaxy. So those... those were the Ten Wise Men. Yes, they are led by the all-powerful Gabriel, with the cunning Lucifer serving as their military advisor. Under them are the remaining eight wise men, which are in turn led by Michael. They are madmen, and they are to be feared. You can find out more about them in the library's database, if you're interested. Didn't you notice when they came back to this planet? We did. But the moment Expel's orbit first became erratic, it was already too late to do anything. So why did you bring us here anyway? Because you have the potential. What do you mean? As we speak, the Ten Wise Men are preparing to take over the galaxy, and they're starting with energy need. But we simply don't have the power we once had. The power that banished them to another dimension long ago. So basically, you want us to help you out. That's right. The powers that we and the Ten Wise Men have are identical. Neither side can come out on top. What we need is a different kind of power. A different kind of power? What do you think? I think we have no choice. We're already here after all. If the Ten Wise Men want to take over the galaxy, then they'll come after Expel sooner or later. Let's just hurry up and do it! Sounds good then. Thank you so much. I'm sorry to be blunt, but there isn't a moment to lose. I want to act swiftly and decisively. What should we do, though? The first thing you'll want is a mode of transportation to get you around need. Isn't that what the transporters are for? Those are installed only at our main government buildings. For everything else, we use flying symbological creatures known as synods. Synods? If you travel north of the Centropolis, you'll arrive at North City. They have a Synard breeding farm called The Home up there. I'm sure anyone there can point you to it. Also, there is the library that I mentioned earlier. You'll find a wealth of knowledge about Need's history and technology inside. Thank you, sir. 
I'd say it's time to visit North City then. Reyna! How did you know my name? I have something to discuss with you, privately. Could you stay behind for just a moment? Sure. I wonder what Rain is talking about in there. We probably shouldn't be thinking about it. Yeah, but... Rain is about to face up to herself for the first time in her life. This isn't something we can really help her out with. Claude! Ah, I apologize for keeping you. Oh, not at all. I had best return to my duties then. Sorry I kept you waiting. Oh, I didn't mind. Claude, on the other hand. Oh, don't look at me like that. I'm just kidding. Reyna, listen. Hmm? Uh... I'm all right. Reyna? Let's go. I need to find my answers. Right. Our first stop's going to be North City, right? That's straight due north of the Centropolis, I think.
Claude, can I have a moment with you? What's up, Reyna? Well, I already told you about how I was found in the sacred forest as a child, right? Right. I guess it turns out I was born on this planet after all. I'm different from everybody else. My home planet, the powers I have, they are all just like the Ten Wise Men. If it weren't for me, the Sorcery Globe and the Ten Wise Men, none of this would have happened. That's not true, Reyna. None of this is your fault. Listen, Claude. Who am I, really? I don't know anything about myself anymore. There's no doubt about it, Reyna. You're definitely a Nidian. The Ten Wise Men said so themselves. Besides, that would explain why you're the only one who has that healing power. So it's all true. I... Reyna! You know what, Claude? I remember being so scared when I decided to leave Arlia. If I did find out who I really was. Reyna... I thought that maybe I'd regret it. That maybe it'd be better if I didn't know. The thought of it made me so anxious. But the next thing I knew, I was going off to see you. It's all right. I knew deep down that I wasn't normal from the beginning, and I don't regret it at all. This is what I wanted from the start. I wanted to know the truth. But I'm sorry. Would you mind leaving me alone for just a little bit? Okay, Reyna. I'd better leave Reyna alone for now. Don't come in, Claude. I'm fine, I promise. Please, just give me a little more time by myself. Was that woman?
Here they come. Ha! 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 Get going. Here it goes!
bunny. What are you up to, Celine? Oh, Claude, this lady is a fortune teller, apparently. I'm getting my fortune told right now. I'm told she's extremely accurate. Really? Well, what are you consulting with her about? <laughs> That's a secret. Why don't you ask her about something, too? Sounds good. So, what do you wish to consult me about? Tell me how compatible I am with Celine. Wait, Claude! Relax, it's just for fun. Oh dear. Are you sure this is what you want to know? Yes, go ahead. Very well. Hmm. Yes, I see now. What do you see? You two are quite compatible with each other. Really? Yes, I see that the woman being older than the man will allow her to play a vital role in his life. Really now? It may not seem like there is any sense of balance at first glance, but you two complement each other well, picking up the slack for each other whenever necessary. Oh, my. It seems like you two would build a nice and enduring family after marriage. Sounds like a long-term thing, definitely. That is all. Farewell, then. Well, that was a surprise. What? What did you expect to hear, Claude? Uh, you know. <laughs> I can't blame you for being tongue-tied. I'm pretty surprised myself, actually.
We can handle this. There's just no fooling these guys. Oh, ow! Oh! She isn't stalking us, is she? No, she couldn't be.
Chakra, what exactly is it you see in earnest? Well, if I had to pick one thing, I guess it'd be the way he focuses on something and just keeps plugging away at it until it's done. We also share an interest in ancient ruins. I was one of his students, after all. Aha! Uh -huh. Now I get it! You saw him on the job and you were hooked! That wasn't the only thing, of course. <laughs> Ernest seems like the type that knows how to handle a woman, too. I won't deny that, no. But that's more of a distraction than an attraction to me. Oh, it's not so bad. Sure beats a guy who doesn't know anything about girls at all. Am I right? Welch, you do know what would happen if you started going after Ernest, right? I know, I know. I'm not the sort of girl who steals other girls' boyfriends. Sure hope not. Oh, I wish I could find a cute single guy somewhere. How about Claude? Claude? I don't know, he's just... What's the word I'm looking for? He's just missing something, you know? Besides, I'm not into wimpy guys like that. Oh, but it'd be great if someone like Diaz turned out to be all soft and sentimental deep down. It fits so well with his hunky looks. Oh, and I'd like someone older, too. Someone who's nice, but also a little bit naughty, you know? Oh, but someone in a suit or wearing all white always gets me, too. And don't get me started on muscular dudes. Um, that's enough. I'm sorry I brought that up.
Excuse me, Mayor Nall told us we could obtain a signard here? Oh, are you Mr. Claude C. Kenny? He's already contacted us about you. You can head over to the director's office if you like. Ah, good to meet you. The mayor told me all about you. My name is Artis. I'm the director of this facility. Uh, this man will be handling the Synard creation process for you. What do you mean by creation? A Synard is a living creature, yes. But we have to program it with data about its new master before it'll follow directions and orders. Wow, that sounds kind of cruel, actually. Well, the sidearms we raise are genetically modified from the moment they are conceived, so really it's just another part of the process. Ugh. Let's not waste any time. He'll lead you through the data entry process, so let him know if you have any questions. Thank you. This way, please. We'll begin the data recording in just a moment. I'll call you into the data entry room when we're ready. All right. Hey, you sure this is gonna work? We've never worked with non-Nedians before. Who knows? We don't have a choice. Orders from above. Man, I wish I could get a promotion. These signards aren't exactly what you'd call cute. Um, Claude, do you think there's any way we can tell people on Expel that we're on energy need? Huh? Well, I mean, from Expel's point of view, we pretty much vanished into thin air, didn't we? Look, about Expel. What is it, Claude? Never mind. Well, we're all set. Right this way, please. All right, we'll begin with Claude's personal data. Please proceed inside. It's completely painless, I promise. Now stay perfectly still until I say it's okay to move. We'll be done in just a moment. All right, you're free to go. Oh, already? Next up would be Reyna. This way, please. Oh, okay. Here we go. Now just relax. All done. I'm glad there's at least one data subject I don't have to worry much about. What? Anyway, next up. What was that? We've lost control of the Synard we're working on. What? It's going to destroy this place if we don't do something. Claude. Let's go. Whoa, there it is. I guess we've got no choice.
Well, I never thought this would happen. No offense, sir, but what did you expect? We were inputting data from an alien species into the Synard. Of course this was gonna happen! Now wait just a minute. We lost one of our valuable Synards thanks to you. So now what? Listen, we weren't... An apology is not going to make up for this. Director, I'm going to need a boost in my research funding to make up for this. What a terrible thing to happen. I'm sorry, sir. No, it's not your fault. It was the Synard who wouldn't accept your data. But it didn't have to die for it. Well, it's obvious by this point that inputting your data into a Synard isn't going to work. So what will we do now, then? Well, there is one thing we could try. What's that? We better not discuss it here. Let's go back to my office. Nuts. If only I were a little earlier. I could have had my front page exclusive. Enraged Synard Levels Breeding Facility. Ow! Thank you. I don't really want too many people to hear this. Not that it matters much to them. I'm not sure what you're getting at, sir. Don't worry about it. Just go over into that transporter over there for me, all right? It's unlocked. You. Yes, sir. What was that about? You'll have the rest explained to you on the other side. Hopefully, the mayor won't have any complaints. Are we getting involved in something under the table here? Hey, you're here to save the universe, aren't you? We all have to make some sacrifices along the way. What do you mean? Look, do you want a Synard or not? Just get going. Uh, all right. Could I ask you one question, though? What? Whose data was it that caused the Synard to go berserk? I don't see the point of answering that question. Fair enough. 